that was pretty uh, clear, I would say clear cut result because these are uh, known uh, inhibitors. So the ethyl uh, pyruvate, EP and uh, glyceric acid, the GA, these are known inhibitors. Now, I think, and because they are well established though, so we use them, but also I think HMGP1 is a fascinating molecule and it's implicated in other diseases, sepsis, inflammation, etc. So I think there is active research to find more and more HMGB1 targeting molecules. But also, I think what's intriguing also on a cellular level, we should look at uh, HMGB1 regulators, the endogenous regulators. So, for example, clotho, P53, alpha 7 nicotinic receptors. And if you step back and look at these, they are, they've been also implicated in Alzheimer's disease. So, there are nice studies showing these it's just how we connect them together it's 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 a tall order because you need to have the models you need to have the cells you need also most of us we work on post-mortem brains so it's hard to see what started what kick started the whole uh, pathological event so but but it's fascinating to to think about them that there are multiple players which can be targeted and hopefully it will at the end the approaches will help patients so